Hello and good day, we are highly welcome. Yes, we want to talk about the inventory control. So I just want to give us a brief video, an introductory video to inventory control. So before we solve practical questions under the inventory control, I would like to give us the formulas. You see, a lot of students um, find it difficult, like challenging to derive this formula. And if you can't derive the formula, if you can make use of the formulas, then you get the question totally wrong. So, in this video, you are going to learn how to derive the formulas. Meanwhile, I'm going to teach you two things specifically, the terminologies and the formula, okay? So, like the terminologies, we'll talk about the maximum stock, minimum stock, reorder level, reorder quantity, um, average stock, average usage, ma maximum delivery period, and so on and so forth, okay? These terminologies are very, very important, all right? And each of these terminologies also have the formula. So, in this video, I will try as much as I can to simplify it for you. Meanwhile, you are on the favor, you are on the good side. All you have to do is to leave whatever you are doing, wave away every form of distraction, hold the writing material, and follow the process. Anyone you don't understand, you rewind the video to get a better understanding. But I will definitely give it the best shot. Let's go. So, I told us I'm going to give us two things in this video. First, the terminologies. Then after the terminologies, we'll talk about what the formula, all right, and how we derive the formula. So I told us that we we'll have one, the maximum stock. We we'll have the maximum stock. We we'll have the minimum stock. Okay. We we'll have the reorder level. We have the reorder quantity. Then we have the average stock. We have the average usage. And we also have the average delivery period. delivery period yeah in some questions in some text this average delivery period is also known as lead time okay if you see lead time delivery period delivery time they are talking about the same thing all right so let us simplify it now i would like you to be more focused on this first four this first four formulas all right if you are able to derive the formulas for this you are good to go. These ones, you don't have any issues with it, all right? The moment you see average, it makes it very, very easy to derive the formula, all right? So, let's go. Now, the formula for the maximum stock, the maximum stock is this. We have the reorder level, reorder level. Please don't abbreviate in your exams, all right? If you must abbreviate, then try as much as you can to write it in full under the formula okay i'm only doing this in order not to consume the space but to make you understand better and with the way i'm doing it to make you remember the formulas easy so we'll have the reorder level all right take note of that reorder level plus the reorder quantity okay reorder level plus reorder quantity minus then we'll have a bracket in brackets we'll have the mat the minimum delivery period times the minimum usage so minimum delivery period times minimum usage okay now take note of this it is very very important now based on the fact that we have maximum and minimum i would like to differentiate between these two since i'm abbreviating so each time you see m i'm referring to minimum okay each time you see max then I'm, I'm referring to what? Maximum. Take good note of this. So since we have N, it means what? Minimum. This is minimum, okay? So take note of that. If it is maximum, I'll identify it with max. So let us proceed. Now this is the formula for the maximum stock. Now for minimum stock, we have the reorder level minus, then in brackets, we have the average delivery period times average usage okay average delivery period times 
average usage. Now, when we come to reorder level, we also have the formula for reorder level, and that is the maximum, you can see it now, maximum delivery period times the maximum usage, okay? You represent what usage. So, maximum delivery period times maximum usage. Now, reorder quantity, when we come over to reorder quantity, we have our formula as the maximum stock, S now represents stock, right? As you can see here. Maximum stock plus reorder level, RL, we can see reorder level, then minus, we have in brackets, the minimum usage times the minimum delivery period, okay? Maximum stock plus reorder level minus minimum usage times minimum delivery period. Take note of it. Now, remember I told you that you need to, be fo to focus more on um, this because these ones are very easy. Now, once you see average stock, all right, there are two things, two things should come to your mind, which is the maximum and the minimum, okay? So, maximum stock. The formula for maximum stock is this. Since it is average stock, rather, average stock, since it is average stock, you now say what? The formula is the average, what is this now? Stock, right? So, sorry, the formula is the maximum stock, right? Plus, remember we're talking about stock, plus minimum stock divided by 2. So once it is stock, you say maximum stock plus minimum stock divided by 2. Remember, average, anything average, this, this is how to derive the formula. Now this is average usage. You say the formula for this now is what? We have maximum usage plus minimum usage divided by 2. You can see it. Now let's come to the last one. The last one has to do with what? The average delivery period. Okay? And the formula is what? Remember, this is delivery period. And I told us delivery period, lead time, delivery time, all talks about the same thing. So what do we do now? We say maximum delivery period, okay? Plus minimum delivery period divided by 2. This is the reason why I told you that the major formula you have to focus on is this, okay? Because these ones are very easy. Once you see average stock, it is maximum of that what you saw, maximum stock plus minimum stock divided by 2. Average usage, maximum usage plus minimum usage divided by 2. Average delivery period, maximum delivery period plus minimum delivery period divided by 2. All like this. So take your time, you follow suit. You can see what I did here. This is reorder level, okay? You can see. You can see the similarities. So try as much as you can to understand it. These are the similarities there. So we have reorder level plus reorder quantity, then minus the minimum delivery period times the minimum usage. When you come to this aspect, you follow the same process again, okay? So try as much as you can to understand this concept, all right? Let us move into the practical questions. We are going to solve two questions under the inventory control so that you understand better, okay? So, after watching this question, or after watching this video rather, if you find it confusing, just call the line below and we'll put it through. Stay tuned. Let's move over to the next video. Do have a good day. Bye.